90 horsepower Mercury outboard comes in two versions. You have the standard gearbox and the command plus gearbox. Now the standard gearbox with its ratio of 2.07 to 1 is, is fine for pushing sort of aluminium boats and so on, um, fine for you know fishing boats up to about say about the 5.2 metre mark. However, if you're going to push heavier boats, again like pontoon boats, or you're going to have a boat where you're taking out the family all the time and you're doing towing a skier or a ski biscuit around and so on, you've got the command thrust which is 2.38 to 1. And what it does is it, it, um, it allows the engine um, torque to be converted to thrust more effectively. So, so you can actually get the power down into the water to push that bigger boat and pull, pull around those heavier loads. With a 90, I don't think it's, it's, it's such a drama, well not drama's wrong word, I don't think it is such a concern as with the 115. And the reason is that the 90 develops maximum torque at 3,000 revs compared to 3,500 revs. Which, and you, you actually have a very sharp torque rise from only 2,000 revs. So really, you're still, by, by having a fairly coarse pitch propeller, you're still able to get away with a standard gearbox because the, the engine has so much torque down low, so it, it will overcome any deficiencies that, you, that you, you know, if you're pushing a bigger boat or something like that. So in my opinion, unless you're going to push again a pontoon boat or run twins on a, on a big cat or something like that, the standard gearbox ratio 90 is probably the way to go. And, and, also, and also, it's a little bit lighter into the bargain as well. So why do they offer it? Oh, they, they, they off, they'd offer the command thrust box on the 90, as I said, for, for say, twin pushing cats or something like that, pushing pontoon boats, pushing heavier boats again if you're going to take out the, you know, all the kids and things like that. That'd be the way to go. But the, the thing is, it's not so important to have the command thrust on the 90 as it is if you're going to be pushing a big load with the 115, because the 115 develops maximum torque slightly higher up the red range. We got to run it with the standard 2.071 gear case, and it was a great mix on the Stasa 509 Sea Runner. It jumped out of the hole, it jumped onto the plane, and it kept driving all the way through the rev range, right up to a very pleasing top end speed of 36 knots. I tell you what, it's not going to cost you a lot to run this motor. Even at top speed, she still only uses 32 litres an hour. So knock it back to a realistic driving range, and you can expect to be able to spend around 20 litres an hour. We've got plenty of miles on the water. Check them out real soon in upcoming Trader Boat magazines.